Hello all, welcome to R&D Labs with me Rohan and today we just talk to you about the issues that you're facing while implementing the Firebase SDK to your Swift project. Lately, I've been receiving comments in the tutorial that I had shared earlier uh, that you guys are facing errors. So we just sorted out and found two main issues in the comments. The first one is uh, the Firebase console is asking you to add uh, the Firebase iOS SDK to your project and it is asking you to run, build, test and crash and but still the crash analytics is not appearing on the console so we will check that and uh, the second one is it says the upload uh, is missing dsym files okay so we will see what we can do for this error and we will try to run the steps uh, to you guys and see if it can help you guys so let's get started <laughs> So for this tutorial, I have set up a project to integrate with Firebase SDK and I have uh, downloaded the pod file for Firebase Crashlytics as you can see here. And I've added the Crashlytics pod as well as the Analytics pod file. Okay, so the, both the pod statements are available and uh, I have included them into my project. Secondly, what I've done is I have downloaded the Google service info.plist file into my project okay so i had created a project within the firebase console for this project and i have downloaded the google service hyphen info.plist file into my project next what i have done is i have gone into the project settings and i have changed uh, if you go into the build settings section you can just search for debug and you will have to change the debug information format from dwarf uh, to dwarf with dsym file so by default this will be selected which is dwarf and you need to select dwarf with dsym file settings okay so this is what you need to select and if you maximize this this has to be set for both debug and release uh, as well okay so in some cases it will be just selected for for the debug so you will have to just select it for debug and release as well okay so this is what you need to remember next uh, what we have done is uh, we have gone into the build phases and if you just maximize this section which is run script so i have added just one run script here and two input file statements all right so this is the first run script and i have added two input file statements right here below so this is what we had done in the past tutorial to uh, kind of connect with the firebase console and push the uh, analytics to firebase uh, uh, console okay so so for you guys to follow along uh, i have added the link of the tutorial where we had covered how to implement uh, the firebase crash analytics to your swift project so please uh, do watch that video i will highly recommend you to watch it where i have uh, kind of described each and every step in detail uh, so if you still face any problems then you can just watch this video also okay so firstly, what we are going to look is uh, we are going to look at an issue where the console still says that add Firebase iOS SDK uh, with whatever version is currently it is called 4.3.0 or higher and then build and run and crash your app. So this is what the error we are going to look at and uh, what we're going to do now is we are going to run the app within simulator and then disconnect the app and run it by itself so that uh then we can see whether the analytics for the crashes are getting pushed and uh, along with that i'm going to also connect my iphone 12 pro to the solution and and then copy the app into the iphone as well um, and then see whether the analytics are getting pushed to the firebase console or not so i think we are pretty much sorted here and we will just run this app on the simulator first and see what we have so let's run the app within the iphone 11 pro simulator and uh, let's see what we have here things are set up let's wait for a while for the build to finish the crash analytics console is still showing a beat cursor uh, understandable because we haven't yet launched the application and the crash is not fired yet okay so i think we will wait for that to happen let the simulator just boot up. Yep, 
Yeah, we will wait for a while. Hmm, okay, so the simulator is up and the application is launched. Okay, so the next thing that we are going to see is the fatal error being fired. All right, so the fatal error has also fired and uh, we should get an error anytime soon here. That's it. So what we are going to do now is we are just going to refresh the form and see whether uh, we are having any crashes registered or not. Um, as I said earlier, uh, what we will do is we will run the app by itself within simulator and see uh, whether the crashes are getting pushed to the Firebase console or not. It's around three or four times that I have done it already. So let's see it, whether it is appearing. Still not. So my second option uh, over here would be to kind of stop this and copy the app into my iPhone as well and uh, try running it from there. So let's go ahead and do that. I've selected my iPhone. I've plugged in my iPhone to the project and I will bring that up now for you guys. Right, the build is successful now anytime soon I will get the the app loaded on my iPhone all right there you go so the app is loaded onto my iPhone uh, the crashes are also fired as you can see on the console yeah, I'm just executing this three or four times and I'm just still waiting for the firebase console to just fire up showing my error <laughs> still no still nothing there so let's open up the documentation for firebase and as you can see it will take at least five minutes and it is also uh, i think in the bottom section it is given a note saying that you know you need to disconnect the app from the uh, simulator and run the app by itself okay so we'll have to give that a try uh, if you guys are facing this problem, just run the app by itself in the simulator, disconnect it uh, from the debug mode and run it. Okay, so we will just have to wait until five minutes as per the documentation and see whether the crashes are appearing. And as you can see, the crashes are appearing. Uh, I hope there are more than six. I think it is only six as I can see, but we had done even more. So probably some of the crashes are not listed here. I don't know the reason for that. So the next issue that we're going to talk to you about is a message that you will be seeing when you upload your crashlytics to your Firebase console. The message is, uh, 
the upload is missing dsyms to see x amount of crashes okay so it might be one two three or whatever crashes um, have been uploaded to the console so it will just show the number over there the reason uh, may be due to the fact that you may have migrated from the uh, erstwhile uh, fabric crashlytics sdk and updated it to uh, firebase crashlytics okay so this is one of the reasons that i see that you know uh, the project is not properly set up uh, to kind of integrate with firebase crashlytics sdk so you will have to first see your info.plist file and uh, the google service info.plist file and uh, you need to ensure that your bundle identifiers uh, within your info.plist file of your project and google service info.plist file are exactly the same okay so if there is a discrepancy or if there is a difference in the bundle identifier between these two files then you might end up with this error okay so this is one of the reasons um, that you know this error will come so please ensure that the file or the bundle identifier names are the same so if you are ensuring that the bundle identifiers are the same and still you're getting the error then you will have to manually upload the dsyms to the firebase uh, crashlytics console uh, there are two ways uh, in which the dsym files get uploaded to the firebase console the first um, way is to upload it via the terminal the second way is to upload it via the run script okay so now uh, to run this by your terminal uh, you will have to download the dsyms uh, from the app store connect website so for this to happen you will have to register your application on the uh, app store connect and you will have to upload a build to the uh, to the console okay so uh, that process has to happen and then only you'll be able to get your dsym files okay so if you head down to your app store connect and uh, you can see this in the activity section as as i'm showing it to you and the activity section you can see download dsyms so you will have to go into a relevant build and you will have to download it from there so after you have downloaded the dsym files uh, I just want you to see that you know there is a documentation available for exactly the same issue uh, within Firebase console. So uh, the link for this web page I have already added in the description box below, so you can have uh, a look at it and build your understanding. So I have selected the iOS, and uh, we have actually reached to this point where we have downloaded the DSYMs into our workstation. Okay, so the next step that i'm going to show it to you is we have to run uh, the commands from the terminal to upload your dsyms to firebase console i will just show you the commands which needs to be executed from your terminal so once you have downloaded the dsyms from the app store connect so this is a set of files that you will be getting it into your workstation so just keep this handy for now and the second uh, thing that i wanted you to see is going to your pods uh, folder within your uh, project and over there what you can see is there's a folder called as firebase crashlytics just click on that and you will see a file called as upload hyphen symbols okay so this is a file that we are interested in and we will be running the script on both of them so what you have to do is uh, you will have to first open the terminal so i will open the terminal and I will first drag and drop the upload symbols file into the terminal. Okay, so this will give me the entire, uh, what do you say, the file path of the upload symbols, which I don't have to worry later on. And I will have to write hyphen GSP. Okay, so, so just keep this uh, keyword in mind. And then what I'm going to do next is I have to open up my Google service info plist file. So I will have to first see that where it is inside my projects. Uh, it should be within the project itself right here. Okay, so this is my Google service info.plist file. And I am going to 
drag and drop it into my terminal okay so i have copied it onto my terminal now and then i will have to write the uh, platform okay so i will have to add hyphen p sorry i will have to add hyphen p for platform and i will have to add um, ios into it and that's it so next what i'm going to do is i am going to uh, drag and drop the app dsyms uh, link or rather the folder path onto the terminal okay so i'm just going to go into my download section over there i am going to uh, drag and drop my folder location of app dsyms into my terminal so after doing all this the the final uh, command that you can see is first you will have to get the uh, upload symbols path okay then you have a command called as hyphen gsp next you will have to uh, kind of add the folder location sorry the file location of google service info.pls file over here and you will have to specify the platform and then you will have to specify the folder location of the dsym that you had downloaded from the uh, app store connect okay and after this you'll have to just press enter so let's see if it is working for me it is really working so we have uploaded the dsyms to the firebase uh, crashletics console and this is the manual way in which you can do this So you'll wait for a while for this to happen and as you can see we have successfully uploaded the crashletic symbol and uh, we have written a command earlier so this is working for us so next way uh, in which we are trying to see is on the uh, on the xcode itself so you will have to add in a run script a new run script so even if uploading the uh, dsyms from the terminal is not solving a problem um, there is one more way in which you can do this and is head down to your project and as we had added the uh, run script for the crashletics you will have to add one more run script and this time it is for uploading the symbols so i have added the run script on my clipboard and i am just going to click the plus sign on top and i'm going to add a new run script phase so I'm going to maximize this and I'm going to paste it out here. Okay. So this is my run script command and I have added it over here, which essentially means that I have a uh, upload symbol. Okay. I have a GSP command out here. This is similar to what we have done in the terminal. If you guys can remember, so you have a GSP command and then you have a project directory uh, with the google service info uh, plus so i don't think so that this is a right uh, path i think i should add the crashletics 3 out here as well so I will add that and it it then gets into the google service info plus file i have specified the platform uh, which is ios and the dsym file name so this is what the entire uh, run script for you to add it within the xcode so there are two ways in which you can upload the dsyms as we have seen one is from the terminal and the other one is from the uh, run script section within xcode right. let me just try building this and see okay the build is successful uh, so what i would recommend you guys is just go ahead and try this and let me know your comments if it is working for you guys and uh, then we can figure out you know what can be done uh, more on fixing this issue so i hope uh, this tutorial is useful for you guys and uh, if you have any comments please reach me out in the comment section i'll be happy to help as always and please like and subscribe to the channel and see you until next time cheers